Hey, what is up guys? I do it yourself here. Welcome back to the channel. And Apple has surprised us all releasing iOS 14.2 developer beta one. And yes, you may be asking yourself, where is 14.1 beta one? And I'll go over some of the details and explaining as into why Apple has released iOS 14.2 and my reasons to believe why this software is now available as a beta software. Now, Apple today also released watchOS 7.1 for registered developers. This is not available for public beta testers as of yet. Now, one quick side note, if you decide to update to iOS 14.2, do not try installing this software without having Xcode beta installed on your Mac or PC. The latest beta for Xcode is required to be running on your computer in order to manually install iOS 14.2. This software is not available, not even with the Apple certificate over the air. So it is not available over the air. You can only install it manually using a PC or a Mac. And remember Xcode, the latest beta for Xcode needs to be running in order for the software to fully restore your device. And if you don't do that, you may end up stuck on an Apple logo and you may end up restoring and losing all of your data. So just keep that in mind. So why iOS 14.2? Well, in this video, I'm gonna explain why I believe Apple skipped a number and also explain the latest features within the software. First up, why 14.2? Well, as you know, Apple released iOS 14.0 just 24 hours ago. 14.2, of course, skips a number, which means there's still one number in between. So iOS 14.2 could be the software to ship with a brand new iPhone 12 in about a month and a half, right? So Apple is expected to release the iPhone 12 later in October. So this gives Apple a number in between iOS 14.0 and 14.2, which is 14.1, to fix any issues that may occur with the latest 14.0 until this software is made available to the public. And hopefully that makes some sense. And that's my theory as into why we see this one as a beta. Now, 14.1 will most likely be made available as a beta one or beta two, and then released quickly to the public to address any issues with iOS 14.0, but this 14.2 will most likely take a few weeks before, maybe even a month and a half or so before we see it available to the public. Now, what's new with the latest software? Let's head on over to settings in general and take a look at the latest build number for iOS 14.2. And there it is. We have 18B5052H. That's gonna be the latest build number for iOS 14.2. And one of the latest features is music recognition. Shazam, an application that Apple has bought out, is now available in Control Center. So if you play music on your iPhone, you can activate it, and of course it will tell you what song it is, the artist, and where you can purchase the track. And of course, any other music externally that's also playing will be detected with this Shazam software right here, pre-installed on your Control Center. Now, if you don't see this uh, icon here, you can head on over to Settings, Control Center, and then go to the Control Center extensions and you can add the music recognition option, right there it is, Shazam, directly to the Control Center of your iPhone. And that's pretty much everything I've come across so far in terms of new features for iOS 14.2. I'm sure there's a ton more and I'll be digging around the software. This was just a quick update, just warning you guys about the restoring process, why I think they released 14.2 instead of 14.1, and just a quick overall view of the software. I'll be following up on this software in the next couple of days. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.